Man, it's really starting to hit home. I've got three days left before I head out on this big trip. Right Up to this point, I've been so busy, I haven't really thought about it. But this stuff is getting real. Now, for the most part, I am really ready, right? I've packed several times. I figured out where everything is going to go. And I just have the little odds and ends to get together before I leave, right? I've got to make sure that I've got all my documentation, my passport with me, right? I've also got to make sure that I get all my personal care items, medications that I might need, and so forth to take along with me. Can't really do that until the last day because I'm obviously using it right now. Right? Also, I've got all of my electronic equipment to put together. Right? I've got it all laid out, I've charged it up, but again, we'll charge it one more time before I hit the road on Saturday. So we make sure that the drone batteries are ready to go, all of the GoPro batteries are ready to go, and everything else that I need to document this trip. Now, to be honest with you, it would be a lot easier if I didn't take any of this electronic stuff, right? I would have plenty of space for everything that I need on this trip and also it would make just life a lot more easy. However, it wouldn't be as much fun because then I wouldn't get to create these videos and share them with you out there. So while I'm on the road, I think we're going to do something similar to what I did while we were traveling up to Alaska. And that is, we'll try to do a little daily video. It'll just be a short, this is what happened today, this is where I'm at kind of video. So for those who are interested, you can follow along that way. right? Then what I'm going to do is we'll do we'll shooting a lot of other footage, and uh, then we'll put it together eventually when I get home. This is going to be a lot of footage to go through. And I'm going to try to do it a little bit differently than I did it uh, going up to Alaska. Right, I ended up with you know, 20 videos or 30 videos uh, for the Alaska trip. I'm going to try to uh, do this more in a documentary style. So we'll see how it goes um, when I get back. I may change my mind by then, but right now that's what I'm thinking. Now we'll also be posting to Facebook on my personal page and my Living Off the Slab page as well. And I'm going to try to post more to Instagram than I have done in the past. I've never been a big Instagram fan because it's just pain in the butt to use my phone, right? I can do Facebook and I can do uh, YouTube right there from my computer in the evening and do it in one shot. But with Instagram, i got to use my phone to do it. At least until I get a lot more followers. Now you might have noticed that in the beginning of this video there was a completely different logo. It said 6060 in it. Well, and that's because I was inspired by one of my viewers, and that is Big Joe from down in Australia, who wrote in on the comments of one of the series here, saying that he was going to be turning 60 in a few years, and that he and a buddy were going to be putting together their own 6060 ride. And I thought that was just absolutely amazing. I mean, that's part of the reason, one of the main reasons that I do these videos is because I want to inspire other people to go out there and fulfill their dreams, whatever they may be, whether it's motorcycling or traveling the country by RV or whatever it might be. If anything that I can do to help you to fulfill those dreams, well, that just makes me feel fantastic. So I asked Joe if it was okay if I stole his 60-60 idea. And he said yes, that was no problem. And so I decided to put together a little logo of the 6060 ride, right? Celebrating not only what I'm doing, but I hope that maybe we can start a little movement, right? Where people from all over the country who enjoy motorcycling and enjoy travel can get out there and fulfill their dreams by creating a 6060 ride or a 5050 or 4040 or even a 2020. Whatever it is that you want to do, whatever your goals are. Right? Maybe we can start a movement where we all fulfill these goals and then share it with each other right here on YouTube. So along with creating some stickers here, which you can get to from my website, they're available through Teespring, and I'm sorry about the price, they're a little expensive, but 
getting them made one at a time again it, it costs a lot maybe when i get back then i will have a lot more made and then we can get them to you for a better price but for right now it is what it is but along with those stickers i also had some t-shirts made up in a variety of colors I've got the dark blue one on right now, and they're two-sided this time. they got the 6060 logo in front, and on the back, it's a map of everywhere where I am going to be hitting this summer, and then also, of course, the logo at the bottom. So if you like it and you want to help out and buy a t-shirt, by all means do so, but it's absolutely not necessary. All right, what I really want to do is I want you to get out there and said fulfill your goals fulfill your dreams right so hopefully said this will inspire you to do that right that's what documenting this is all about and sharing it with everybody this trip is going to be a little bit different for me as well right i think i'm going to be doing a lot more soul searching on this trip than i did on the alaska trip right with Alaska, we had a goal, get up to Alaska, get home, have this wonderful time, see these amazing places. But I was a few years younger then, right? Three years younger, about. And uh, this time, I'm turning 60, and I'm heading towards that portion of my life where we are going to be transitioning, right? From working into, hopefully, maybe part-time work, Right, and uh, trying to find some things that you don't have to spend so much time and so much effort right, working for somebody else. We're going to try to be transitioning to things where right, we can spend less time making a living and doing more of actual living. So this trip is going to be about that process. right? I've got a lot of thinking that I want to do. Right? How am I going to transition from what I'm doing now, making a pretty good living as a computer programmer, into doing something else that I enjoy more, right? And that allows me the free time to take these trips and make these videos and so forth. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure where it's going to end up, to be honest with you. And part of what I want to do is I'm going to do some journaling along this trip, and that may be like I'm doing right now and doing some video journals. And most of them you probably will never see, right? Most of them uh, will be things for me to watch, and maybe I'll let my wife see one or two of them. Um, but really this is going to be said about, again, my experience. Uh, so we'll see where that goes as well. So said this is going to be a transformative experience uh, for me at least I'm expecting it to be on this trip uh, I don't want to get too philosophical or too sentimental here but right uh, that's um, you know, there's going to be some changes I hope going on in my life over the next few years so uh, this is part of getting that process started so on that note I guess we're ready to go, right? Three freaking days and I hit the road for the biggest trip of my life so far, right? Longest I've done is that five weeks up to Alaska, but now we're going to be doing eight weeks, right? And for the first part, I'm going to be without my wife and meeting a bunch of new people because I've got none of my friends here that are going with me. Oh, if I haven't told you that, Peter and Stephen were going to tag along with me for the first week or so, but now both of them have had things come up in their lives and they can't make it. All right, so I'm going to be traveling by myself and, of course, meeting a lot of you guys out there. We've already got that planned out and I'm really looking forward to it. All right, so three days from now, see you on the road.